Okay, so we have this um, subspace here W, which is just a plane in R3. And we also know from the last video that its orthogonal complement, W perp, is this line that pierces W at a right angle. And the topic of this video is how can we find the standard matrix of the transformation which projects any vector x, so here I have a vector x, onto the subspace W. If you remember, projections mean it's kind of like the shadow of the vector. So if I take this vector x and I project it onto, onto W, I get this vector here, which is in W, and it's the projection of x onto W. So I can call this x sub W. Um, another thing that we're going to have to look at in this derivation is the projection of x onto w perp. Or in other words, the vector x minus the vector w, which is this vertical vector here. And I'm going to put it on, in w perp, and it would be this vector here. This is x sub w perp. Okay? Down here I've drawn two basis vectors for w, w1 and w2. Um, that's going to come up in our derivation as well. So, uh, the first thing that we notice, our vector x is can be decomposed into two components. One component of x in w and the other component of x in w perp. And you can do this for any, any vector x. So this vector x we can write it as x sub w plus x sub w perp. And um, Let's define a matrix A. Let's say a matrix A has columns that are the spaces for W. So A has columns W1 and W2. Now, let's just say, don't ask me why, this is just where the proof starts. Let's multiply both sides of this equation here by A transpose. Okay, just bear with me. So we get A transpose times X is A transpose times X omega. I'm just going to go ahead and distribute it. So A transpose X, did I say omega? I meant W. X sub W plus, plus A transpose X sub W perp. Okay, here's something that we need to talk about. A transpose times x w perp is equal to the zero vector. And why is this? Well, if you remember from the last video, w perp is defined to be the null space of the vec of the matrix that has, remember this, we, we said we, to find w perp, we find the null space of a matrix whose rows are the basis vectors for w so it would look like this the first row would be w1 and the second row would be w2 right the null space of this matrix whose rows are the basis vectors for w is w perp by definition and then so this equals the null space of well, what is this matrix well the the columns of a become the rows of this matrix this matrix is a transpose so W perp is the null space of A transpose. Um, in case you still can't see that, uh, if you have W1 here and W2 here, right? this is the, the matrix A transpose, and you multiply it by some vector, uh, x1, x2, x3, and you get the zero vector out, right? By definition, that means this vector is in the null space. And since we're saying the null space of this is w perp, we're saying this vector would also be in w perp. And that makes sense because when you do this matrix times a vector, um, this entry here, this zero, is saying like x1 times the first entry of w1 plus x2 times the second entry of w1 plus x3 times the third entry of w1 equals zero. Right? And so that's just the dot product of this vector with this vector. And since that dot product equals zero, and the dot product of w2 with that vector equals 0, it means that this vector x1, x2, x3 is perpendicular to both w1 and w2, which means that it's in w perp. So, okay, that's just review from last time. But basically we're saying that w perp 
uh, we're recalling that W perp is the null space of A transpose. And since W perp is the null space of A transpose, um, we can we can cross this out and say it's zero because a x sub w perp is an element. It's a part of w perp, right? Obviously, it's vi you can visualize it here. X w perp is is an element of w perp. That means since w perp is the null space of a transpose, that means x sub w perp is an element of null space of A transpose. And what does that mean to be in the null space of A transpose? That means that A transpose X, when you multiply it by A transpose, you get the zero vector, right? This is by definition of X sub W per being in the null space of A transpose. Well, if this is true, we go up here, that's where we cancel it out. Okay, so what do we have now? We have that A transpose X equals A transpose X sub W. So let me rewrite that. A transpose X equals A transpose X sub W. And what can we do from here? Well, we can say, let's look at, let's investigate this vector X sub W. That's a vector that is inside the subspace W. And so that means that we should be able to write X sub W as a linear combination of these basis vectors W1 and W2. So uh, let's do that. Let's, let's say X sub w is some linear combination of the basis vectors for w. And then we can just make a new vector. Uh, this, is a, this is writing x sub w as a linear combination of vectors. And we can rewrite linear combinations as a matrix times a vector, right? So we can say that if we let um, some vector v, if we let some vector v, equal these constants c1 and c2 then we can say that this is equivalent to saying xw equals a matrix whose columns are w1 w2 right times v do you see that um because this is just c1 c2 and this is just, this is our matrix A, right? All the way up here, this is our matrix A. So we can say that X sub W is A times V. Beautiful. All right, we're almost there. We have this equation and we just found that X sub W, we can write it as A times V. So A transpose X equals A transpose times what we got for X W. So X W is A V. So we say A V. Okay. Let's stop and reflect. This guy is our projected X vector onto subspace W. So it's like, okay, we're almost there. What's the goal? We want to be able to input a vector X multiplied by some matrix and then get that, that vector X projected onto the subspace W. And so if this is that projected vector onto the subspace W, then you might be tempted to be like, okay, let's just multiply both sides on the left by A transpose inverse and get this. A transpose inverse times A transpose times X equals AV, right? This A transpose inverse times A transpose cancels out and you get AV and AV is just the projected vector onto the subspace W. And so this would just be um, our projection. But that's, uh, and then this would be your standard matrix, like B or something, right? But you can't do that because A transpose inverse times A transpose only works that's made that multiplication is only defined when a transpose is a square matrix so like if a transpose was like a four by three matrix a its inverse would also be four by three and you would get something like a four by three times a four by three and those inner dimensions don't match so this is not defined can't do this instead we have to isolate v and then by multiplying both sides on the left by A transpose A inverse, and then multiply all that by A. So we're gonna go from this step here. We're gonna left multiply both sides by A transpose A inverse. So then what do we get? We get V equals, right? Because the A transpose A inverse will cancel with this A transpose A. 
and we're just left with v, and that's going to equal a transpose a inverse times a transpose x. And is that our final answer? No, because v is just some random vector that is the this, the weights of the linear combination to get x uh, sub w in terms of w1 and w2. So to get our projected vector, we just have to multiply v by a. And so a v is, so, so then let's do that. So then our projected vector, the projection onto w of x is, we were calling it x sub w, and that is just a times v, right? Which is, and this is v, so we can just say a times a transpose a inverse a transpose x. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a mess. And so I made this video in case any of you guys get frustrated when in recitation I say, here's the formula, just memorize it. But this here, right there is the formula for this, the standard matrix projecting onto some subspace w where that subspace w you can put its basis vectors as the column of some matrix a so there you go i mean that's the answer so that's the end of this video it was so boring but i'm just going to refer you guys to this video uh if you guys want to know where this comes from so thanks for watching uh, and we'll do some applications of this in further videos